What's up? Um, weight loss is super hard for me. Just gonna say that straight out. Uh, it's really, really hard. I've had a lot of ups and downs, mostly downs. Uh, a little history. Um, I started lifting weights probably when I was in middle school, I'd say. Maybe even earlier than that. I got fascinated with uh, weightlifting and sports performance and stuff like that. And off and on, you know, I would focus on uh, studying a lot about it. And um, I got some decent results back in uh, the late 90s. Um, and also in high school, I, I, I wasn't fat or anything like that. Uh, decent shape. And in the late 90s, I did the Body for Life, Bill Phillips, and I got pretty good results. I think uh, I got, actually got my body fat tested um, at uh, Valley Total Fitness, and it was like 11%, which is not bad. And I, you could actually see a, a four pack on me, which is pretty good. Um, and then, uh, it's not an excuse, but uh, I got stressed out a lot, or there was a you know, life, new life stressor when I got married in 2000. And I just started eating out of control, basically. Uh, the highest I got, I'm 5'6", so I'm really short. The highest I got was, Close to 300 pounds. Darn, that's scary. I think I was like 280 something. Right now I'm in uh, 220. So I was just a, I was just a power puff ball. And uh, it was really scary. I'm pretty sure uh, I had high blood pressure. My my blood pressure is decent now, but you know, I'm still struggling with the uh, fat loss. Um, late 2000s, uh, like 2009-ish, 2010, 11, I have videos of myself on, on a different channel. Uh, I got down to around 170. I was doing the Donis Index and uh, Intermittent Fasting, which I'm struggling now with, by the way. Uh, inter intermittent Fasting, I... I can skip breakfast for the most part, but uh, to, to do the 24 hour fast, it just, it's hard for me. So I, I just skip the breakfast now. Uh, but I was having pretty good success with the uh, Adonis Index and um, intermittent fasting. And then at some point after 170, I just, uh, it was just harder and harder to maintain. Just wanted to eat more and more. And uh, I couldn't stop eating. Um, ballooned up well past over 200. Um, well, I was maintaining maybe 180, 190, 200-ish. And then another season, I just started eating more. It was hard to stop. So, um, on the other videos, I mentioned that uh, I'm drinking a lot more water. I think I'm a lot better on that now. I'm just trying to master that. And on top of that, the other simple habit I'm try, trying to master, and I think I'm getting a little better, is eating more greens with each meal. Um, but the hard part is not overeating at night. I tend to kind of undo the, the days less eating, early in the days less eating, um, by going bad shit crazy. And so, I'm just putting it out there. I, that's what I'm really, really struggling. I think that's what's holding me back. So, um, I think I'm going to have to figure out a way how to um, not do that. So, a couple things that come to mind, I think, is to obviously eat more vegetables at night, which is not always easy. Um, eat less sweets at night. I still want to eat sweets. I don't want to be, you know, just fanatic about not eating what I you know, what I enjoy, but somehow I need to control that.
thinking maybe drinking a shit ton of water, maybe an hour before uh, eating, that might help curb the appetite. I don't know, what do you guys think? I know no one's watching this channel yet, but uh, for future reference, if anyone does, um, maybe some uh, tips. Um, I think I know a decent amount of about fat loss and physiology, but I'm always out and willing to learn more. Probably this is a little bit longer video, and I'll just keep cracking them out. Have a good one.